Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and today is Saturday Happenings for the 21st of January. Are you serious? The 21st of January is already here. Man, it feels like, I don't know if it's when you get older, things just seem to fly by quicker, but hmm, I'm going to take advantage of every single day. So, I am super excited for this week. Now, I had a bunch of things I wanted to get done, but there's, you know, sometimes life takes over and I didn't, but I have... My counters in my kitchen are covered with everything because I have like six videos I'm going to do today. And all the stuff is out. So I have to do it because I need to clean my counter off. So that way, I know if it's sitting out, I got to get rid of it. I got to put things away. So I'm going to have to do my videos. That's going to make me do them. Because there were some ones I wanted to do last week that I might have to carry over. But let's talk about last week. Last week was a fun week. I, I have fun doing those little short videos. And I did the video <laughs> where... I put together a bunch of quilt blocks, and I want to show you where I'm at on those. Shabam! Look at all the blocks I've got so far. Now, these are paper pieces, so I'm going to have to go and remove the paper. But when you stitch it, I still have to do a video showing you this. And when you stitch it, it kind of makes a perforation, so you just peel these away, and then you have the blocks. But I want to show you. This is super cute. Look at that. That's cute, because I had this uh, fabric. I made a, one of those ice cream bowl cozies for our granddaughter out of that fabric and I thought that turned out okay but these are all going to be um, placemats and a table runner and I have to do I don't know however many of these are left I don't know I probably don't that was to make a quilt so I probably actually am done I don't know I have to put them together but they're kind of fun so I did a little video on that and I will do a video later today I'll do it and I'll put it up next week or the week after of how you how you make those now, I am not terrific on uh, paper piecing I'm kind of learning it so if I show you anything anything sewing or quilting it's just because I um, I'm figuring it out don't look at me as a professional on that the other thing was the chicken sale yes there was a chicken sale and actually it was 40 pound boxes of boneless skinless chicken breasts and they're like massive um, for like 54 bucks. So I got three of those and I have 40 pounds thawed cut ready to go. So this afternoon, it's raining now, but once Brian gets done outside, guess who's going to learn how to can chicken? The Brian is going to be in there canning chicken. So that's cool. And then there was the recipe for the mushroom. Oh my gosh, the mushroom casserole. If you like mushrooms, so good. But you can tweak that a little bit. You could add, I've got my list. I want to not forget to tell you guys things. You can add a little extra Parmesan. That's really good. You could add uh, a little bit with the whipping cream. You can do like half that and half cream of mushroom. That would make it even more mushroomy. You could add onions in there where you saute them and then put the uh, fried onions on top. So think about what you can do to that. To, it's just so good. Just so think about that. And then I actually, actually thought about taking that and combining it like with frozen hash browns in a casserole. So good. Oh, and then that makes me think, why couldn't you take the mushrooms like that with some frozen casserole or frozen hash browns and then put like a um, scrambled up egg on it and for like a breakfast? Oh my, I don't know. I could think of all kinds of things to do with that mushroom casserole. Things need to just, you know, they need to be fluid and change things. It's just fun to cook. Okay, so then the other thing is my grandma's scissors. I uh, posted a little short on that, um, but I am so excited about my grandma's scissors. And I will tell you, these scissors, uh, the guy who sharpened them told me they're like from 19, probably the early 60s, but they are sharp like a razor blade sharp. Um, because I had them sharpened, I found these. Now, you'll see a video I've got, I meant to have it this week, but I'm putting it together. You'll see it. I'll post it tomorrow, maybe. Um, where I found these, and they were my mom's, which were previously my grandma's. And I remember because in the early 60s, when we would spend the summer at my grandma's house, she would always say, don't you ever use my black-handled scissors on anything but fabric. These are her black-handled scissors. And then my mom got them, and then I found them, and they all had rust. You'll see in the video. It's terrible. And um, now they're perfect. So I was so excited about that. So, um, and you know what? When Brian did the, uh, I just want to say, the um, Canuary video that he did 
which by the way, we're having some of those chicken breasts tonight with that white balsamic vinegar or the, the white balsamic rosemary uh, jelly that he made. I'm going to be doing a video on making that and that sounds so good. I can't wait. But I think I'm going to have the chicken breast with that white balsamic jelly glaze on it with maybe some stuffing and green beans. That sounds good. So that's what we're going to have for dinner. And I will do a video on using that for you and you'll see that. Um, but I, when I do videos, I don't do a script. I don't do sometimes if I make sure I don't want to forget things, I'll do little bullet points. Um, but in general, it's just me. And I will say things like I said in the video that Brian did about alternating the lids so that they don't get stuck together when you're canning. And the other thing is like putting the rack on top, look at my hair, whatever, um, putting the rack on top of the jar so they don't fall over in the boiling, wa boiling water um, canning. And so many people say they appreciate the tips. And I appreciate you letting me know when I give you a good tip because I don't intend to do that. They just are things that I say. So anyway, that was fun. Uh, I had a good week, did some stuff, but today, today... I'm going to be doing a video that you will see. I'm going to post this one for next week. Um, I'm going to cover all the kinds of shelf-stable milk. And that does not include home canned milk. And I'm sorry, I'm going to get some hate for that. And I'm going to say it in the video. But there is a reason why you can purchase commercially made home, uh, home uh, pantry shelf-stable milks versus canning it but this isn't like a lecture video this is like these are the things you can get and then i'm going to do some recipes one of the recipes or two of the recipes i'm going to use with those are actually going to be for my shelf stable recipe in february so that's kind of cool and i want to do the different milks and like different ways to use each type of milk there's liquid shelf stable there's a home canned and there's uh powder so um dry so i'm going to go through that that's going to be the first video i do today when i'm in the kitchen the other one, I want to do some more spice blends because I was cleaning out one of the closets that I have and I have all these little cute spice containers and I thought, oh man, plus when you open my spice cabinet, like there are so many. So I want to combine some of those to make them easier to use spices. So I'm going to do that today and Brian will be canning chicken, chicken breast canning. Oh, and then uh, they had another sale after the chicken breast was on sale. They had, it's frozen. Um, they had a sale on the boneless, skinless chicken thighs, which when I bought the breasts, the thighs were $77 and change for a 40 pound box and the breasts were 50, had been marked down to 50 something. So then yesterday I went because the chicken thighs that were originally $77 were marked down to, I want to say 55. So I bought one box. So there's 40 pounds of those and I'm going to do probably 20 pounds of just the thighs and the other 20 pounds I'm going to mix with 20 pounds of breast so that I have a nice mix. Um, <clears throat> so I got those. But today Brian will be learning how to can chicken. We are going to be doing pressure canning in my kitchen and he's going to learn how to do it, which I'm super excited. I'm trying to talk him into taking the Master Food Preserver course now that he's retired, but maybe this will make him interested. Uh, and then... What's happening next week? Oh, on Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm taking uh, some more classes at the little uh, sewing store that we have in town because I bought my machines from them so you get free classes on them. And I took my serger and he showed me some of the coolest things that you can do with a serger. And, you know, I grew up with a serger that you had to thread so you were so afraid to mess with it and you didn't want to get the tensions off because it was a big pain. But he was like in the middle of stitching, just turning knobs. And I was like, I'm so afraid to do that. And he said, you know what? You can't, you really can't screw this machine up. So he showed me how to do a bunch of stuff. I'm super excited about that. But next week, I'm going to take a, a class on this machine. This machine, I love it. Um, Lagertha, my, my Viking. But anyway, she does all kinds of other things that I want to learn. So I'm going to take her in there. I'm going to learn. I got some elastic thread that you put in the bobbin. I've got... Just cool stuff I want to learn about this machine. So I've mean, got that class. And then the other one is making a reusable shopping bag. Now, I make bags, okay? It's not a hard thing. But this was cool, and I want to learn it because I can get some tips. But the bag is like, if you buy more than the bag can hold, you can reach down and pull out a thing to make the bag taller. I think that's kind of cool. So those are the two classes I'm going to take next week. And then I'm going to probably come back and do a video on that one. Uh, another thing I learned is Leanne over at the Mennonite Farmhouse was telling me that she has this machine that cuts like quilt block things 
And I thought, no, wait a second. That's called an AccuCut, and they actually have it at the little sewing machine store where near us, you know, my, my shop. Um, and I thought, that's kind of a cool thing. If I really got into quilting, would that be something I want? And then it occurred to me that my Cricut, I have one of those maker, Cricut makers, they cut fabric. So I thought, why couldn't you cut the squares then? So I looked into it, and you can, like, I just didn't even know. But it actually has quilt blocks that you can print out on your Cricut and then sew them together. And it even has the pin where it marks off your quarter-inch seam line. So cool. That's another adventure we're going to take. So that's super fun. Um, okay, so for next week, videos that we're already going to have that you already will, like one of them's already up for next week. I've got a couple up because you can film them in advance and schedule them. One of them, I think last week I told you about my friend Bunny who wanted to do a podcast. It's like not one of those ones with the microphones and all that. It's just a video. We're doing video, kind of a video podcast. Anyway, so I've got an upcoming video where I'm going to introduce you to Bunny, and we're going to get together and do just, it's just fun chat. So, you know me, I'm not, I'm not one that's uh, hurting for being able to have a conversation. So, you're going to meet Bunny. She's cool. She's a lot of fun. So, that'll be cool. And then, January, Brian is going to be making another January thing similar to what we did before, just because it was so good. I mean, I'm so excited about the recipe that he's doing this week. So you got to watch out for that January video. And, of course, in this description box will be a link over to Lisa's website where it explains all the amazing. She's give, doing a, draw, a giveaway. And then Four Jars, who's sponsoring it, they're the best. I'm telling you what. they got the cutest little timer now. If you go over to their website, they got the cutest little timer. And they're in Canada now. So that's super cool too. So if you're watching me from Canada and you want really good canning jars, go check it out because there is, uh, there's a link in there for four jars for me. Um, but also they're be giving away, they're doing an amazing support to this YouTube community of Canuary and we really appreciate that. And I'm going to tell you what, I've still never had a failed, uh, lid. And then I'm going to do the milk video that I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm thinking, I've got some shelf stable recipes, but I'm also think I'm going to do several recipes using the different types of shelf of shelf stable milk. So that'll be cool. I'm going to do a couple of them. And then of course, Brian's canning chicken video will be next week. And of course, that just made me think when I said something about the lids, I'm going to put a note for myself. I want to do a video on what to do with old, uh, old food in your, in your uh, pantry so that i'm going to put old food here so i remember anyway um like what do you do with food that you think has been there too long so there's that and today when we do brian's little video uh canning chicken we're going to be using a print i have this from oregon state university it's a canning checklist um but there is also the canning app so if you have not downloaded the canning timer app i'll show you what it looks like you need to because it's awesome it's called the canning timer and checklist app it's available for android and uh and uh iphone and it's awesome so we're going to be using that i'm going to show brian how to use that app along with this checklist because apparently when they were doing classes they were using this checklist it, it when, there's a little video i think that says it they were using the checklist, and then they watched people using their phones as the timer, and they thought there should be a way to combine that. So that's what they did in that app, which is pretty cool. So there's that. Busy day. Going to be a great day. Going to be a great week. And then, oh, I got my January Simply Earth Essential box. I have not even opened it. I need to open that. I have more things to do in a week than you have time to do them. But I will get the most of them done that I can, and I will do as many videos as I can and having fun making shorts we're all talking about that so there it is that's what's happening in my world in my youtube world so that you can watch some videos from me because it's fun so snickers is here um so that's that oh it's raining snickers is wet um that's it i need to get in my kitchen and get busy so as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video